WizNotes is very easy to learn how to use. In this short video, I will explain to you the main parts of WizNotes that you need to know about in order to start using WizNotes. You write your notes in this area over here. Here is some text inside a leaf. You may be familiar with writing information into documents in other word processing programs, whereas with WizNotes, WizNotes is used for studying. So therefore, the notes that you write are not written into documents because this has more business connotations. Rather, you write your notes into leaves. Leaves are stored inside subjects. So over here we have the leaf called notes and it's stored inside the subject called general. Now we can add another leaf here and call it second leaf. And so then over here we can write some more text. This is some text in side the second leaf and we go back to the notes leaf and we see our previous text now the various subjects are stored inside a whiz notebook here we are using the default whiz notebook when you write your notes you'll probably want to start by creating a new whiz notebook so we press the button over here for a new Wiz notebook. And we call it chemistry. Now the new Wiz notebook it automatically opens and gives us a few default subjects and leaf. You should divide your course notes into different subjects. Therefore, we're going to add a subject now, and we'll call it atoms. Now, inside this subject, we're going to add a new leaf, and we will call that new leaf periodic table. And so now, over here, we're inside the leaf called periodic table which is in the subject called atoms inside the whiz notebook called chemistry. And so now we're going to write some notes about the periodic table. Some of the features of whiz notes you'll probably recognize from other programs that you have used. However, there'll be a number of features in whiz notes which are unique to whiz notes which you will not be familiar with. However, it's not necessary to know all of these features in order to, to start using WizNotes. We'll start off by using just one of these features, which is collapsible section. And this is a good way for organizing notes within a leaf. So here we'll press on new section. And we'll give it a title of what? is the periodic table right and over here you can write whatever notes you want explain about the periodic table so we just write right here the periodic table is a chart of the names of elements and you can probably tell me whether i'm right or wrong about that but to make things a bit interesting we'll add a, a video over here which can help to teach us about what we're studying so we find on a video sharing website that there's a song about the elements Click on Embed, press Ctrl C, 
And then we go back to WizNotes, Control V, and within our notes, we've got a video. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium. Right, let's get rid of that for a moment. Now, to just go over again the organization of notes within Leave Subjects and WizNotes books, let's just make it clear. When you want to find your notes, you don't need to look around in the file system of the computer and all different folders and subfolders and sub subfolders. If you want to find your notes, you just open up WizNotes and your notes will be there. They're organized in WizNote books, and within each WizNote book, there are subjects, and within each subject, there are leaves. And that's where you'll find your, your notes.